All right, so continuing the tradition, I'm going to watch the first official trailer for Elemental, released by Pixar. Now, obviously, I have seen the teaser trailer. This is the first trailer, as in, you know, this is usually the point at which they start showing footage from the actual movie. Maybe sometimes now the teaser trailers do include footage from the actual movie, but these definitely do. Um, I usually, yeah, I watch the first trailer, but not the second trailer, because it tends to give too much away. I have on good authority from my friend Sam that this one doesn't give too much away, and yeah, I just, I hope it just let me get a little bit more excited for the this movie, because I'm already, you know, thinking that it's it's going to be great. I'm really interested to see kind of this romantic comedy from Pixar. Of course, you know, you have Wally, -E, which is its own romance film that Pixar made, so this certainly isn't their first time doing a romance. There have been many romantic relationships and other Pixar films as well. It's funny, yeah, I was just, I, I was looking at my Wally -E Criterion collection that I finally got a chance to go through that booklet they provided, which was just talking so much about what it means to write a love story and what it means to just like sort of embrace imperfection and all just super interesting stuff. And I'm excited for Pixar to tackle a love story again and just the way in which they'll do it. I, I'm, I'm really hoping for it because I think this is also assured by that teaser trailer when we're just, we're on that train and it's not, it's not in your face. Like it's showing a bunch of different like visual gags and stuff, but like it doesn't like, it's not aggressive. Like it's very much just, Hey, this is just casually seamlessly the world that we live in so i'm really hoping for like an indie rom-com vibe even though it is such a heightened fantastical world so that's what i'm looking for maybe that's not what it is and and, and if that's not what it is i'm open to it being something else but i feel like there's really an opportunity there i love a good indie rom-com you know and it would be great to see one that's animated with such surreal characters so yeah i guess without further ado i'm gonna go into full screen and i will watch the elemental official trailer uh, Disney 100. Meet Element the City. residents of Element City. Oh, wow. Hair usually has their head in the clouds. Oh, my new jacket. Earth can be a little seedy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing weird going on here. Uh, just a little pruning. Oh. Water is always getting into something. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> Adorable. Fire. Oh, you look so cool. As ordered, we run a little hot. Yeah, this is this is the best world. Oh, adorable. This dream of our family. Someday it will be yours. I love these we designs. All live by one simple rule. Elements cannot mix. Okay. Sure. The pipe squished me out of oh, shape. Oh, that's how we got it. That's better. Oh. <laughs> See, we never left Firetown? Sorry, buddy. Elements don't mix. Hey! Plus, my dad would boil you alive. Why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? Come on! Why do they even have these? Eh, who knows? <laughs> Watch this! Yeah, why well, build the world that way? <laughs> That's cute. Oh, wow. I love the color change. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see, he likes it. <laughs> oh, this looks great. Oh, yes, please. Oh, okay, that is exactly what I want. Yeah, wow. Anyone who thought this movie wasn't going to be great is really going to be kicking themselves. I'm I'm telling you. I mean, this I'm really digging this. Uh because it's not just like so so the premise, okay, so it is in fact a thing about like different elements shouldn't mix, you know, which like yeah, that's interesting, but I feel like and maybe I I would need to go through the trailer again and I probably won't study it too closely because I I I don't like going in knowing too too much, but it seems like the focus is more on 
Well, listen, it's, it's sort of in terms of the way we were brought up of like family wise, like well, what, what, what we think. And maybe there are, of course, I think those just as in the real world, there are some uh, biases and, you know, things that like keep different kinds of people away from each other that then need to be overcome both within uh, a family unit but also like where the family is pulling those biases from is of course from society itself so I think we'll see both of those things within this movie but I really love the vibe of it because it's not like a thing where it's like you know oh in in Monsters Inc or something when it's like there's a kid in the human world or in Coco when it's like there's a living boy in the in the dead people world like no it's it, it's more just like okay this doesn't usually happen but it'll more just be like it'll like raise an eyebrow not be like oh my god security this is, the world is crumbling apart you know and maybe it, it would get that far if like you know things escalate but just the sheer presence of someone that's fire in one of these other worlds or water like is would not be enough to like make someone scream right like ember doesn't scream when she sees wade here which by the way it looks like this movie is about ember mainly like i know you know it's a two-hander because it's like you know a, a rom-com but i'm getting the vibe that this is ember's movie that like she's the one that's like learning something and like wade like sort of comes into her life and it's about how she changes i'm sure they'll both have arcs you know but i it seems like it's gonna be ember i, I don't know why like i feel like they've been saying like wade and ember maybe i don't know I, I i thought like maybe wade was then the main character but i'll be really stoked if it's ember because in terms of yeah the the the, the romances that pixar has done so far you know you have wally and eve um, Carl and Ellie, which, by the way, uh, fittingly enough, just announced today that the Doug Days short, uh, Carl's Date, which was originally going to be released on Disney Plus for Valentine's Day, is going to be attached to this movie, which is just so amazing. I'm so excited to see a short attached to a Pixar movie in theaters again, one made by Pixar. Oh, and just it's so, it's just so exciting because it also then it's it's a beautiful tribute to Ed Asner. It's I, I believe his last performance as Carl Fredrickson and it should really be a special one of like you know it hit Carl having a first date you know after having lost Ellie and yeah so this is definitely going to be a real you know romantic double feature in a sense of you'll get that short and then you'll get this movie and yeah I I, I just really feel like yeah so then but but what I was saying to return to what I was saying you have Wally and Eve you have Carl and uh Ellie you have, you know, uh, Buzz and Jesse, Woody and Bo, you know, like, these are all, I'm like, what do they all have in common? It's always like, well, you know, even though, like, all of these characters are very important, it's usually the male character that is the more prominent character, so it would be really cool if Ember is the lead in this movie. I really hope she is. Um, I think th those are my favorite designs. I love all the designs, uh, particularly, um, I really am happy seeing Wade in motion because I feel like there's been some images or things where it's just like, oh, like, does he, like, what, what does he look like? How, how is it going to look in motion? That's what I needed to know, like, because I feel like still image doesn't do it justice. But Ember, I mean, any image I see of Ember, at least personally, I think that looks great. And yeah, like her whole family and everything looks really, really cool. Yeah, I love the look of this movie. I love the colors you know um yeah i'll be really excited to see this i think this was a great trailer um let's see what it said in the description this summer meet the residents of element city okay number three on trending all right yeah so element city you know some people have been like why is it just called element city seems a bit generic which like whatever <laughs> that's fine i mean this is such a such a weird concept it's such creative characters if that's what you want to call the city just a simple name to ground it then that's fine by me. I mean, look, the, the monster world, you know, we had Bug City at Monstropolis, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't need to be that it's the most crazy, like Zootopia, you know, I mean, yeah, like, there is some wordplay going on there between zoo and utopia, but, you know, it, it's like, so, so that's, is, is probably the cooler name, but still, Element City, sure, I'm down with it, let's, let's see where we go. All right, so check out a brand new trailer for Disney and Pixar's Elemental, an all-new original feature film that transports moviegoers to an extraordinary place called Element City, where a host of elements live and work. I love the emphasis on work, too. Like, yeah, this feels like it's like, you know, it's a movie about adults, right? Which, you know, Pixar has certainly done before, but, like, in the sense that this movie, the two main characters are adults that just happen to be fantastical creatures, kind of is different for them you know like they've had like you know carl being a, a main character of course or like 
Bob and Helen being main characters and Incredibles. And of course, you do have Joe and Soul, but, you know, that's Joe with 22, who's not uh, a soul that's been born yet, so to speak. So even though uh, 22 is played by Tina Fey, you can't really say that it's two adults leading that movie. Of course, Pixar, you know, you could say Woody and Buzz are stand-ins for adults, or Mike and Sully are stand-ins for adults, but still, I don't know. I just, I, I really appreciate how much they're capturing the experience of you know just that you're 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 an adult but you're in this sort of transitional stage of like maybe you're 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 still like you know in a pretty close relationship with your parents but you're starting to venture out into the world and you have a job and you know maybe some bigger ambitions and yeah you're starting to think about your love life potentially but like you know in terms of just the main two leads in your movie are adult characters which you know they, they have families but like they seem like you know they're like 20 somethings right like i mean this is hidden me right where i live you know or it's just like yeah you have your family still and you're like tied to them but you're also you know starting to you're, you're entering the workforce you have a job and then maybe you're considering oh well what about you know just the potential for romance like this is i mean it's speaking to me at least um but anyway let's see okay so where host elements live and work the trailer showcases each element Air, earth, water, and fire, and what sets them apart according to Ember, a quick-witted and fiery woman who's always stayed close to home in Firetown. Yes, okay, so Ember is listed first. Let's go. Okay, this is great. This actually, it kind of reminds me of Zootopia in the sense that I feel like the teaser trailer for that movie in particular really was like, here's Nick, and then like Judy kind of came in after, I don't know, it seemed like from that teaser trailer it would be like, Nick is the main character, and Judy is like the stick in the mud, uh, if you go back and look up that teaser trailer for Zootopia, but of course it ended up being that Judy was the main character. In earlier versions of the, the film, Nick was the main character, but it definitely made the right choice by changing it, in my opinion, but yeah, I, I'm curious if Ember always was the main character of this movie, I guess we'll find out more about that soon. I'm not even necessarily sure if she is the main character, but sh this is the first name that came up in the description, I'm going to say, yeah. Okay, an elemental. So, so uh, what sets them, the trailer showcases each element and what sets them apart, according to Ember, a quick-witted and fiery woman who's always stayed close to home in Firetown. Like, that already is like, yeah, like, you know, you're an adult, but you're still, like, you haven't, like, moved far away. This is still the place you grew up. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm vibing with this. An elemental which opened in theaters on June 16th she finally ventures out of her comfort zone to explore this spectacular world born from the imaginations of Pixar's filmmakers and specifically crafted for the big screen experience. Let's go. Movie theaters are back. Pixar's original movies are back in theaters. I mean, yeah, like, if you count Lightyear, you know, that's a spinoff that, that was uh, back in theaters. But, like, for me at least, I haven't seen an original Pixar film not tied to any other property since Onward. I did get to see Onward. I went on Leap Day. They had an early screening, which was actually genius, because it was like, well, Leap Day is you get an extra 24 hours, but in the same way that, you know, they get, like, 24 hours to spend, like, some extra time with their debt. Like, yeah, so it was just, like, extra 24 hours. Great lineup. It was awesome. Um, and then the world fell apart. Thanks, COVID. But, yeah, so, okay, so this is for the big screen experience. Let's go. Element City is inspired by big cities around the globe and embraces theorized contributions from each elemental community. Theorized contributions? Huh. From giant pine tree-like buildings and waterfall skyscrapers to a tornado-shaped arena called Cyclone Stadium. Wow. So, what do they... I, I wonder what they mean by theorized contributions, as in, like... Like, these are contributions that people have, like, theorized in the past that, like, elements would do if they have a city, or as in, like, the Pixarians have, have theorized this. And, like, I really feel like, yeah, this description is, like, leaning into, like, hey, we're Pixar filmmakers, and we made a movie for you. It's from, it's, it's from us, and here's what we came up with. So, I love when they let you in on that. It reminds me of, like, the Wally -E teaser trailer when they were like, hey, we came up with a bunch of ideas at lunch one day, and then uh, we had one more idea in addition to all the other great ones that we've already done, and it's the story of a robot named Wally. -E. Okay, so then joining the previously announced voice cast, including Leah Lewis and Mamadou Athi as Ember and Wade, respectively. Okay, so Ember is listed first. Ronnie Del Carmen as a voice is so awesome because, I mean, for anyone who doesn't know, Ronnie Del Carmen has been working at Pixar for a very long time. I believe his first Pixar movie was Finding Nemo. And yeah, he ended up being the co-director of Inside Out. So really cool to see. Clearly what, what happened here is in the grand Pixar tradition of, oh, it was someone who was maybe 
you know, doing the, the, the scratch vocals or like reading stuff out for when, when they're like pitching the storyboards and everyone was just like, you know, your voice is just perfect for this character. We can't imagine anyone else doing it better. You got the role, which uh, I, I always love when they do that. It rocks. Ronnie Del Carmen as Ember's soon to be retired dad, Bernie, Sheila Omni as Ember's love seeking mom, Cinder, Wendy McLendon, Covey as Wade's stormy and airball loving boss, Gail, Catherine O'Hara as Wade's welcoming mom, Brock, Mason Wertheimer as Ember's admiring earth neighbor, Claude, and Joe Para as an overgrown city bureaucrat, Fern. Okay, directed by Peter Sohn, produced by Denise Reem, produced by Pete Doctor, elemental features, a screenplay by John Hoberg and Kat. Lickle and Brenda Shu with story by Sean Hoberg and Lickle and Shu. Film's original score was composed and conducted by Thomas Newman. Right, so this is the first time that the composer um, is, uh, yeah, like so. Thomas Newman uh, specifically has has only done Andrew Stanton directed Pixar productions in the past, so it will be cool to see him do a Peter Son film. It's it's interesting. I feel like Peter Son probably did the temp vocals for Wade, because the final sound actually, it reminds me a little bit of what he sounds like. For anyone not familiar with that, you know, he played Squishy in Monsters University, or very recently Socks in Lightyear. He's done, he's done various different characters over the years. Also Emil in Ratatouille. So yeah, definitely a bunch of different characters. Um, but yeah, really excited to see this. I think this was a great trailer. Uh, you know, I was already... I already had a lot of faith in this movie. Now my excitement has just gone up. It's perfect. It's like I, I don't feel like it showed too much, but it definitely gave me a vibe. And hopefully, yeah, it makes everyone else more excited for this movie too. Like, this looks great. And and yeah, I'm already seeing from the comments, like, now this is, um, yeah, th that it looks great and that it's the kind of quality that they expect from Disney and Pixar to make. Yeah, I really, I, I don't like when people lump Pixar into, like, any disappointment that they're feeling with, with Disney as a whole, whether it's, like, Marvel movies or Disney animated mo movies even sometimes or just, like, anything else to do with, like, because Pixar, like, especially, you know, I mean, they've been making some great films and it just, it's, it's annoying to still see people be like, well, nice to see an original for once and not a sequel. It's like, you know how many original movies they've been doing? Maybe you haven't been watching all of them, but like... You know, you had Onward, you had Soul, you had Luca, you had Turning Red, you know, you had all of these movies. So, like, you know, you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep coming. And, and, and more in the works as well after this. So, yeah, I'm really excited for all of them. I love seeing this stuff from Pixar. Oh, gosh. I, new original, new original films. I mean, any Pixar film I'm gonna be excited for, but yeah. It's great seeing the original films. Awesome. Can't wait.